Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. 21 minutes before the hour now on this Friday morning and we are looking at some dry streets around Central Oregon. Partly cloudy skies about oh, three or four hours ago have now gotten mostly cloudy. It's all part of a system that's building into the Pacific Northwest and it will wind up giving us some rain. 39 degrees right now at the Bend Airport where we have a breeze out of the south at nine miles per hour. At Southerly breeze a little stronger at the Redmond Airport where it's 41 degrees this morning. Well, the uh, nation overall looks pretty good. Uh, Florida the state, entire state of Florida covered with heavy rain this morning. You have the rest of the eastern seaboard, the central states and the southwest in pretty good shape. And here in the northwest, we're looking at the advent of our own storm. It has made for a very wet morning in western Washington and the northwestern portion of our state. Now the south coast and the south valley getting in on this. And yes, this is heading in our direction. So it's not too far off. It'll spend most of the morning building in and then we'll wind up pretty wet like much of the rest of our state. This southwesterly flow is also going to usher in some colder air. We, yesterday we were in pretty good shape, mid to upper 50s. Today we'll be uh, slashing 5 to 10 degrees off of that for our daytime highs. This low pressure center that's responsible for this and the trough that's associated with this is going to be with us for a while. So we are anticipating a fairly wet weekend. In fact, we have a better chance of rain tomorrow and snow on Sunday morning. Uh, we may not see it a really heavy through much of our area, but our temperatures will be cold enough. If we get some overnight showers Saturday night, uh, we could mix a little snow in with that and we'll stretch these wet conditions into Sunday. Uh, we'll uh, see a diminished chance through the day Sunday of any of our showers, but this thing isn't going away anytime soon. Winds are not uh, too bad right now. They'll get a little blustery out of the south and southwest as we go through the afternoon and then southerly winds will be much gentler overnight tonight. Low 30s to low 40s to get the day underway. Headed for a day where we top out fairly chilly. Keep in mind our average for this date is 56 degrees. Mid 40s to low 50s, about as good as we're going to be able to do. And from here, it just gets colder. Uh, we're going to see colder temperatures tonight. We'll be in the upper 20s to mid 30s. And then as we get into the weekend, chillier even yet. We'll be topping out in the mid 40s with overnight lows going down into the 20s and that possibility of some scattered showers overnight, uh, we may wake up to a little bit by way of some snow. As we go into next week, we're going to stay chilly. We'll live with this chance of scattered showers as this system uh, lingers through the middle of the week and uh, overnight uh, possible snow showers at the upper elevations. Don't forget, Saturday night, be sure to turn your clocks back one hour as daylight saving time is ending.